20 crappy head. That look like, uh, it doesn't matter anyway. So yeah, uh, he was there reminiscing his time in Eastern Nigeria when he worked there in Enugu. Good old days. Oh, good old days. Because you know, they said that the first uh, councillor, is that the first councillor or the first mayor of uh, Enugu City? Uh, was uh, an Ausa man from Kano. I can't remember his name. Yeah, the first, not first, but one time, the one time mayor of Enugu way back then. Yeah, that's him, Enugu. It was somebody from uh, from Ausa land. You know, but yeah, let's uh, go to the part where after Kirby, okay. Uh, it was in Lagos. I'm not sure if this is that KLB part, but let's go to that Maracas in, La Mar in Lagos. I'll be Maracas. Time of this. Yes. It's the time. Respectfully stand on order existing protocols. Mm -hmm. Eminence, uh, I think uh, Dr. Tanko have probably said all that we will hear. Uh, we'll just, because of this period of Ramadan fasting, we have contacted Tanko and said we need to go around and visit our brothers of the Muslim faith. Across the country, and I've been, and we've been touring, we've been to Lafia, CDM, and we've been to Nazulet, we've been to a couple of places, we've been to a couple of places, tomorrow we are traveling up to Sokoto and everything, and as we agreed that we're going to come today to pay our respects to you for the great work you're doing here. When he read it to me, how the school started in 1952. Yes. Now he was moved to Akege in 1957. Mm -hmm. And everything I said, thank you. Wow. So, yeah. That's why I'm here to pay our respects for the great work we are doing and to continue to preach brotherhood, preach caring of each and everything. Like I always said when I was campaigning, today is no problem. But I always say when I was campaigning, no religion buys bread cheaper. No one has cheaper fuel. No one buys food cheaper. When there's hunger, for everybody. When there's problem, for everybody. No tribe buys bread cheaper. No tribe buys anything cheaper. When there's a problem, it's everybody. So that as brothers, we should all work out. They better than Nigeria. In Nigeria, where a son of nobody, child of nobody, can be great and become something. And it's available. I went to say to the North, we can make more money from you than we make for money. Because we're the only country in the world that 60% of our personal are cultivated. That can change the world. And to the south, we have all the talent and everything that can change the world. What we are lacking is not the air, it's not the human being, it's the leadership. But today, it's just a fair respect. Elections are over. It's for me to go around and pay my respects and assure people that we have no other country except this one. See, I have told you a few times, and I'm going to say it again. You see, one thing we have managed to achieve on Mayegun's diary uh, political is uh, the accommodation of divergent views. We all agree. Okay, that uh, respect is reciprocal. 
I am pro, uh, what do you call it, self-rule. There are others here who are also pro self-rule, self-determination. Biafra, Yoruba nation, and any other nation that uh, you are advocating for. Also, we have here eh, those who do not who do not believe in this Nigeria, but they believe they could bring about a Nigeria that would then allow people like me, people like you, to comfortably discuss like human beings of what we want than every one of us to stay apart. And you know something, like they say, on Mayegun's diary political, okay, there is something that brings all of us here. There's something that brought all of us here. And if you check it very well, it is because we all have one or two things that we disagree with in the current formation of Nigeria. And therefore, we have come up with our own what we believe is the better and the best solution. Break it up. But as you are so convinced and determined that until we break Nigeria up, right, we are headed nowhere. However, you have those who believes that uh, the breaking it up is like the final. But there is something that can still be done before they breaking it up. So therefore, we all agree that the current existing Nigeria is not working in anybody's interest, and we want out. We don't know, we don't want to be part of it anymore. Okay, but not not a single person here will say they are comfortable with the way Nigeria is, and that we are wrong, Abi. And I told you that the same rights that you have, the same know, the knowledge you think you have, that the belief that you have, that you have told yourself, unless we break up this place, we are going nowhere, is the same belief that those who believe that, although this current contraption is not working, okay, so we must get rid of the rogue, make get the one that will work enough that we can now go our separate ways. You call them deluded. That's, that's some things I've seen people do on this platform. I have done my best, and we keep doing that every now and then, okay? That, yes, we have differences. We seem to have uh, different solutions. But we do have one thing in common. We all disagree with the current uh, formation of the current settings of Nigeria. We all disagree. But you see, when you continue to disrespect Obi on Mayegu's diary political, simply because of whatever you have against him as a member of a PDP or what have you at the time. And every now and then I continue to remind you, right? Even if you try to put your prejudice, your bias to cover your face and you couldn't really you can't really hide it. I continue to remind you that if you look at the force that gave birth to disobedient and how it all emerged, you will not rubbish them because of Obi. You will not disrespect Obi here and expect them, the obedient, to now respect your own cause or what you believe in. A lot of you don't understand what is called respect is reciprocal. You don't. A lot of you is always like, it's either your way or no way at all. A lot of you don't have that mindset, okay, of accommodating even the views that you are not totally in support of, but you share something in common. And that common ground is where you have to look at and see how we can actually pull together, you know, even if you have to use them to get what you want. But a lot of you will hide behind they are all the same, Mayegu. As if to say, Mayegu comes here to defend Obi or what have you. You want to rubbish the aspiration. You want to rubbish the effort. You want to rubbish eh? the belief of millions of people like yourself who are tired of Nigeria too. You want to rubbish that because they are wrong. You are right. I mean, 
We told them not to participate in the election, but they did anyway. You can't tell them anything. We have no control over them. But there are so many ways we can actually meet on the same ground. Is that what they want to do? Look at what happened this last time. There are so many of them who now know better. You do not need to preach to them not to go and participate in their charade. They won't. And I did tell you, if that's what they want to do, let them do it. Let them learn from it. Okay? And as they say, life is a teacher. The more you live this, the more you learn, right? Sometimes if they, have, if they don't have that real experience of that disappointment to know Nigeria better, there's nothing you can tell them. And if you, as somebody who know better, okay, and you think it's so easy, I just, just abuse them. And then you want them to listen to you that, okay, let's break up Nigeria. Now, they, you want them to listen to you. I'm going, to start, uh, I'm going to start sending some of you, okay? If you see anybody who will come onto this platform, you understand now? Uh, everyone who is with that spanner, I'm giving you this directive now. If you see anybody who deliberately put up a comment, all right, to Rai Lubi, in order for, you know, to rile the obedient themselves, I want them removed from now on. But you know something? There are people who actually enjoy this division very well. You know, stay divided. Shure people will be attacking Obi. Obi people will be attacking Shure. Right? But the two of them will be agreeing with us that hey, it's true, this country cannot work. We must try and break up. Because they don't believe in it. And then you come onto my ego's diary political. You see Peter BBD on the picture, I mean on your screen. And suddenly you want to remind me they are all the same. And therefore, Obi is a 419. Obi is this, Obi is that, Obi is this, Obi is that. But when you want to talk about Yoruba nation or you want to talk about Biafra, you want people who are actually like those who also listen to Obi to listen to you. And if you don't, you probably have a name for them. Don't you? Eh? So, yeah, if you see them on this platform, uh, the African Wahala, it says Balogun. I don't give a damn about who they are. Please don't, don't spare them. Even if they have been on this platform for a while, get rid of them. I think it is time to begin to let you see that. Okay. Mm -hmm. That sometimes if you if you can't beat them, you know what they say. Sometimes they say if you can't beat them, you join them. No, 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 no. My ego's diary political. You don't join them because you can't beat them. You have to call on others, people that you share same thing. People who wanted these criminals gone. People who actually wanted the entire system demystified. People who want people who have a stone to grind with the, with the, with the system to team together. You call themselves together. All of you, you team your hands together and you join hands together and you beat them. Or else your division actually gives them power. How old are some of us that can't see through that? If you want to do your bickering, if you want to do your, your obedient versus uh, Shore, Shore versus this or that, the Biafra versus so the do if you want to do that, you could go do them somewhere else. So. Do you understand? You can go and do that somewhere else. All right? So the reason is because the breakup of Nigeria has to come from the pain of uh, total, uh, you know, uh, total rejection. People who are going to reject the shit old, they must have reasons to do so. A lot of you have reasons why you want to leave Nigeria right now. I do have my reasons, but there are so many of them who have actually not really experienced anything. For them to understand what you know. So if they have to experience it, if they have to leave it, if they have to leave their experience, let them leave it. Don't come here and begin to sound like a uh, toshekwefu. I've seen some of you, especially you, just reason. Sometimes you think you are throwing banters. You think you are throwing banters. You are playing around. You are going to throw that and you will never throw another one on this platform. And I'm so serious. And people like yourself too. Okay? The reason why I actually pointed you out or mentioned you is because I've seen you. All right? 
So you can be cold, you can be hot, and I've seen some of you like that too. We can cut our relationship if all of you are going to be going crazy that way. You need to respect everyone, every block on this platform. You need to respect them. Respect what they believe in. Yeah, you have to. And if you can't, it's all right. You can't be here. Okay? It's the effort is to keep everybody divided that way. Since you can never agree, fine. Oh, yeah, come on, organize revolution now. Eh? Since you cannot agree with yourselves, right? Oh, yeah, come on, have revolution now. You will never have one. Okay? But I'm just trying to say the way a lot of you actually do it. All right? You do it in a way to make it more like the obedient. Eh? They are... They are a bunch of time wasters. OB is a time waster. Obedient are time wasters. So therefore, wherever you see them, somebody even said, my go stop promoting this. Eh? I'm so kind of, uh, I've actually forgotten the name. I saw the name there where one said, my go stop promoting this. So they're eh? I'm not promoting OB. No, I'm not. I am helping the obedient and what they call their symbol and what they believe in. I am helping to keep their voice out there. And you should do the same. Because their voice out there is part of the nightmare that Ifnubu's government have to deal with. And if they have to deal with that nightmare every day, the fear of something can break out. Fear of something can break out, just like anything anywhere else too. Let's help them. Let's help them and put the voice out there. Keep it out there. Keep the face out there. You come here and tell me not to. You have a Google pie down. You have a show you cook on it. You understand? You can just unsubscribe. Stop following me. That would do us a lot of good. So we need to keep amplifying voices that keeps uh, discriminants, that makes them uncomfortable. You have to. They have all the resources to shut everybody down, shut you up, direct and continue to control the narratives. They have all, they take, all it takes. But because people like us, we never let them run the narrative. And that's why these voices will continue to be their nightmare. You should do the same. Don't come to my platform and tell me what to talk about, what not to talk about. Don't advise me. You understand? So, now, if uh, I am not actually, even the same thing goes to you to obedient to, because sometimes some of you are actually like, uh, you know, out of control. It's like you are in your own world too. This is my ego's diary political. When I give you your mention, eh? Just, you know, let it flow. Don't call me and begin to call her, she will read this, she will read that. When you talk about shake with point, because I know some of you too. The moment you see she will read, oh, this 419. This she will read is a 419. My she will read is a clinical book. Oh, Babego go for you to have a shuri brook lot to you. Better follow me right now. Okay? Whether she will read and no be no today, talk to them, so that's your problem. Don't come to my platform and think. Because you are obedient, we are obedient. Then you are free to just drop down. Or you are a Biafran. We are we are Biafran. It's a zoo. If you know that your 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 weary eh, is out of control, okay. There are reasons why this place is called a melting pot. You need to understand that a melting pot means the combination of everything, and it doesn't mean you agree with them. It's what, what there is, is that uh, you have something in common. And what you have in common is a rotten system that has kept us divided and impoverished, now terrorizing us. So if all of us who have something to grant with the system decided to come together one single day, it's over. It is over. So I don't care about your conspiracy theories and the rest of that. This is my own theory. I do believe that the people who are the victims of uh, a failed country called Nigeria, the moment they understand that they all have something in common, 
and one enemy. One single enemy is what they have, the criminal system in Nigeria. And all of us agree that, okay, yes, election is a waste of time. One day they will agree that election is a waste of time. Promise you. So don't come here and think you are a Voltron or something. I don't care about how long I've known you. If you miss Yan, if just reason says something there right now, I think I'm actually interested in just reason. If just reason says something right there on that YouTube right now, eh, African Wala and the rest of you, you should get rid of, her, of him. And people like that too. We need to be very careful now. It's important because you will not plant that kind of division here, enjoy it, and then flow with, no, you, you won't, you, you will be the one to go. So enough of all this uh, disrespect. Okay, enough of it. I hope you will take my word for it. We'll go to another part. I'm still talking about Obi meeting the Muslims that they once called the mockery. Now they are concerned. Why is he doing it? Time of this is the time of sacrifice, it's a time of prayers, it's a time where we have to go around asking people to pray for our country as we go through difficult times like this. And you know, going around and visiting affords the opportunity of experiencing in real time what people are going through and what is happening and asking for more and more prayers because we need the country requires prayers. So I'm here today for that purpose. So how do you think events like this help to foster unity, especially in the current um, landscape in Nigeria? It is critical because it, it shows that we're just same, we're just human, we love each other. As you can see, coincidentally, the Ramadan fasting coincides with even the Christian fasting. This thing shows love and unity. I'm going to make people understand that there's nothing different in all of us. We're the same. Like I always say, no religion buys bread cheaper, none buys for cheaper is everybody's if there's a problem it's a problem for everybody can you show me where muslims buy bread cheaper so i can go there and buy can you show me where they buy rice and food cheaper no so these are critical things that we all learn we are the same it is critical that we love each other we care for each other so i've come here to support them in breaking the fast by probably that's it so sorry, sir. To those people saying there's a political undertone to this, what would you say to them? There's no election. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't come time of election. Yes. I would have come for when there was election. I came then when there's no election. Yes. Because I believe in this. Okay, so like like I said before, it's not about election. Election doesn't make bread cheaper. Okay. Yes, 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 okay. You have gone around and you are still going around. I'm still going around. So so when, after to go. your impression, if you gather all this information, what is going to change your message? Because your message has been consistent. It remains the same. Because if we are productive, people won't be suffering. It's not just you, uh, just reason. I mentioned you for a reason. And I know sometimes you throw those banters. Same thing with that uh, Ade Williams, too. So Ade Williams can also be throwing those uh, banters, but there are times that banters are not welcome. Okay, there are banters that you don't, you don't, you don't. Somebody like Ace uh, Lloyd too. Ace is now saying that uh, the day the scandal of this man is going to come out, like you are more interested. And who is that going to favor when it's a scandal comes out? Eh? It's like somebody now saying that uh, we are looking for the day that. Uh, the a secret will come out now. If your secret that you are waiting or looking for comes out, or this uh, scandal that you are waiting for comes out, to so whose favor is that? To so whose advantage is that? Eh? To the advantage of the same people that you and I are saying we must do everything to break Nigeria up and break free from them, right? Like I said, mm -hmm. when I put news about uh, these or happenings around the obedient out there, it is because it is the right thing to do by helping to keep their voice, like every voice, every voice that has risen against this corrupt system in the past or now, right? The reason why you have to keep the voice out there, you keep ampl amplifying it and keep them out there is because this entire system 
was built on silencing us. All they have to do is just put a tag on you. Yeah, that's it. You could give them a tag and then go after them. So when you keep helping them to drown those who have actually stood up against them, stood up to them, but because you don't like them or you don't like how they are doing it, 